Hi guys, this is what I was trying to achieve in this particular case. Is my client wanted essentially a site within a site or a some buttons to be on a particular page. So you can see on my home page here that I've actually got this navigational bar with all of the pages that it's obviously linked to. And these navigational bars are dependent on whether there exists a page because the page actually creates all of these individual buttons. So basically I wanted two pages within this particular page and there was a couple of pages within this page as well but they, they're completely different. As an example within the projects page they are really two pages that I want to be able to go to but in this particular page you can see here to the right that these are just external links that's all they were we don't really need anything other than that so I created a navigational bar for this just so this navigational bar can be seen of course if you haven't got these there the navigational bar disappears so the problem was is I didn't want to have this extended pop-out menu for this particular button but because these pages are children of the main page this particular page is it is including it even though essentially this really isn't a page anymore it's just going to an external link and I didn't really want it to be seen so the way that I got around this to, to remove this from this particular one here this little tiny arrow you can see here which extends a menu was to select this you can see here this navigational bar right click and then click on convert to panel it looks as though nothing's happened but it actually has now these buttons still work on the basis that they can actually be used as links if I just double click on there you see it's still working like a, a button the difference is it's not links and dependent upon whether there's a page or not so now I can delete these pages and notice that the buttons remain whereas, whereas if this was, was a navigational bar and I deleted those pages the navigational bar would, would be gone as well. So now what I've done is I'm able to keep these buttons which I wanted on this particular page without having a reference from the main um, navigational bar as a child. This means that I can keep my navigational bar, my main page as it was, to include children pages which are what I wanted but I just didn't want it to include in this particular case these links or any pages within here but these still act as proper buttons so that's really it really that's the core of what I wanted anyway so thanks Guy for your help as, um, as usual so far and it's really appreciated and um, I thought I'd just post this video up just to show you where I was at and what I was trying to achieve um, of course there may be other ways of, of achieving this or doing this so um, if you think of other ways then of, of course um, feel free to post away and, um, and I, others may be able to learn from this so thanks again bye